Oh my god, yo, she take off my whole screen. Oh, look at this bitch. Is she bigger than my monitor? God. Damn. What's up, guys? X Legend, and welcome back to my <laughs> 600. <laughs> this is a different type of video, okay? This is a different type of 600 pound life video. Because, hey, listen, I don't know if y'all know, but like, there are people, two people to be exact, in this whole trilogy, in this whole saga of my 600 pound life, okay? And it is the Slate Sisters. Now, these motherfuckers right here, let's just say back then, they were some finesse, bro. They love the finesse niggas. <laughs> All right, especially the, they audience, okay? People that actually liked them and was fans of them. You know what I'm saying? They was finessing people, as you can see. We got the homie Sunny V2, their sisters who faked their funeral for money. All right, they was grimy. They did some dirty ass shit. You know what I'm saying? These people messed up. You know, now they, now 2024, they lost hella weight, okay? They lost hella weight. You know, good for them. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. But that don't take away they past and what they did that was dirty and grimy, you know what I'm saying? So listen, we finna react to this shit, bro. Sunny V2, let's get straight to this shit, bro. Yesterday, Tabby went into the hospital. Look at this. Nasty ass. Like, what the fuck? She has pneumonia and she can't breathe. I said I'm gonna go fund me account. If y'all can donate a penny, they're gonna die. Oh. Man, what the fuck a penny gonna do? Bruh. L acting. Man, you can't finesse me! Like, wait, bro! I'm so happy. When Amy and Tammy Slayton first began their YouTube bro. journey back they in 2014, they lost a lot of weight. Shout out to them, but they were seen by their audience as two wholesome sisters who were bravely putting themselves out into the world despite their unconventional appearances. Facts. However, only a few short years later, that very same audience had grown to hate and despise them. Damn. The Slayton sisters would turn their entire audience against them through controversy. Bro, these motherfuckers. Controversy <laughs> after controversy, peaking with one of the most ambitious scandals in YouTube Tammy's history. Fun. A GoFundMe for Tammy Slayton's funeral Man, they, hadn't even bro, died. They However, faked the all this shit. The audience more about these two sisters prior to the beginning of their channel. Each of these controversies could have been easily predicted. For example, back in 2010, Amy, Amy got arrested. arrested. Look at this bitch. Eight dollar book from Walmart, showing that even prior to beginning YouTube, the sisters were prone to both cutting corners. Amy and just stealing sister. books and shit. Most of this information would only become public at a later date. So when they first began their channel, they were liked. The sisters built an audience through their strong family bond, positive attitude, and ability to laugh at their own shortcomings. We need to lose weight to become skinny. Oh. We don't care if you don't like us, we're fat and we love it. They weren't exactly the sharpest tools in the shed. Become skinny. <laughs> They weren't exactly. I mean, you don't love it, in but okay. Shed, but people appreciated their authenticity. If I want to say, hey, I'm fat, I'm fat. But don't you call me fat. Why would I want you to call me fat if we're trying to be in a relationship? Damn. Come on now, use your brains. And the fact that what they the were kind of YouTube for themselves, it didn't seem like they were trying to impress anyone. Love when a girl isn't afraid to be herself. I applaud you. Finally, a real person doing a review. Love it. Keep them coming. I love her so much. She always has such a positive, fun, relaxing vibe. Facts. The Slayton sisters would receive their first big break after posting a video title. Oh Chucky my god, I remember this shit. Ugh, man. Want to gain a view count in the millions. However, when examining the video's thumbnail, damn, oh shit. and dislike ratio, Yo. it was pretty obvious that it had gone viral <laughs> as a result of people watching to laugh at their physical appearances. Yeah, Bro, I remember this. I, people reacted to this shit. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I salute Ugh. this channel for not disabling comments. That Bro. takes bravery. I genuinely it's... didn't know it was possible for the human body to lay adipose tissue on the forehead. Damn. Anytime I wake up and think, I don't really feel like working out today, I just think of this video that and nigga, agent. the motivation I need. Agent. It was a similar story Double to videos low. like Bake With Me and Trying New Makeup. The thumbnails what? were sufficiently horrid and laughable to make the video... That'd be like a hooker from like LA New or some shit. What the fuck is that, bro? Viral. Come However, on, man. Despite the hate, the hundreds of thousands of views across... You want to hug this one with sis? Well, I mean, I, I don't really think you'd be able to do that. Like, unless you like elastic girl, you can like elongate your limbs because she big as hell, bitch. It's a lot of body to wrap around. Appreciated the relaxed nature <laughs> of the channel, growing their fan base further. Oh, you're so cute. Well, not on your makeup and ignore all the negative comments. She is so sweet. Nah, fact, let her fact, put makeup though. on me any day. All the beauty gurus be like, you got to do it exactly like this, K. Okay? And this girl is like, it's your makeup. You choose how to do it. And she did pretty good. I'm going to sub. However, while a growing fan base would generally be seen as a positive for most YouTube channels, for the Slayton sisters, it would end up becoming a negative as it'd be at 
around Damn. the same time that they begin to reach out to their audience for help in relation to their lack of financial security. For example, oh, after shit. a thousand subscribers on their this channel, where they the start finessing these bitches. First GoFundMe, requesting that their audience help them because all they audience is nothing but females. Ain't no niggas in this bitch. Now most all bitches. As though there was nothing females. This proposal. The audience sends a bit of money through. The sisters get a new laptop, and in return, the audience gets a higher average video quality, which is seemingly a win-win for both parties. Right. However, on the contrary, some of her viewers felt as though the Slayton sisters were abusing their power as YouTubers in comments such as, delete this, you are going delete to this lose shit. all your subscribers. You're a pathetic lowlife that needs oh. to get off your ass and get a damn job like the rest of us <sighs> instead of mooching off of us. You are disgusting. Damn. If I were you, thank God I am not. I couldn't wake up in the mornings. Yo, as that big head. Eight, Amy would shift the blame from herself. That's a lot of head too, big head ass. was the one who suggested that she make the GoFundMe. I do. God damn, boy, she, oh my God, yo, she take off my whole screen. Oh, look at this bitch. Is she bigger than my monitor? Damn! Take money very lightly. Boy, ain't no the way. MacBook thing was not my idea. It was a friend of mine's idea. Cap. I didn't even edit the video or anything. But that Cap. video is down. However, while Amy did receive a bit of hate, the operation will prove to be successful after raising over $833, showing the slate. What the fuck you need 10000 for? What bitch? Sisters, that it was not only possible. This bitch trying to build a rocket ship, simple, nigga. What, what, what do you need ten thousand for? Go fund the hell, which bitch. become a vital piece of information for the main scandal to be covered in this video. The other problem that the Slayton that sisters trying to get encountered like... after growing an audience was Bro, that they could now be back held up from the camera. The stories that they shared throughout their videos. For example, Amy would upload a video talking about a situation in which she had adopted a German shepherd oh my rescue gosh. dog before leaving it in a camper van on a hot summer's what? day. Now, Amy would state that the air conditioning was Bro, on. Bro, I hate motherfuckers that. The camper van was closed. The I hate people that be abusing and animals, bro. For like 30 minutes, and who are y'all to judge me? However, when Amy revealed bitch. that the dog had gone crazy inside and smashed the air conditioning unit just to get out, Damn. the audience That's assumed that they... Hey, I love German Shepherds, bro. I want to get a German Shepherd so bad. I love German Shepherd. It reminds me of um, uh, Sam from uh, I Am Legend. Hey, wasn't I love. That's my favorite movie of all time. Crazy. That's why my name Legend. From that movie, bro. Inside. I love that movie. Supported further like, after Amy revealed that the dog had bitten her quite severely after escaping from the camper van, leading her audience to believe that the dog was all riled up after overheating. This smoking cigarettes and shit. Incident, too. Amy would state that the dog had been put in a 14-day quarantine. The dog is in 14-day quarantine. He he has a week to go. However, with the bite mark being so severe and Amy taking the dog to the pound, whilst using the wording that the dog was no longer with her, the audience assumed that Amy had taken the dog to the pound to have it put down resulting in the popular opinion that Amy was an animal abuser. I can't imagine this woman owning a German Shepherd. Shepherds need tons of activity both it's physically facts. and mentally. Exactly. She couldn't even take care of herself, let exactly, alone such right. a strong and intelligent breed. I'm sorry, but I highly doubt she ran after the German Shepherd. You need to be relatively <laughs> active to dog like a German Shepherd, and you need to be trained to be able to take care of an abused large dog. This right. sentiment will become even worse when, at a later date, Tammy would upload a video talking about the celebration of her birthday at a gaming arcade, mentioning in passing that she felt sorry they go fuck your birthday bitch yo what the, <laughs> what, the what is this <laughs> hey whatever that bitch laying down in the bed and she just get hungry she like hey, she just look at the wall like this and it's like got donuts and shit so she can like you know what I'm saying like picture her man her like eating like an imaginary like donut just you know what I'm saying like hey for their other dog a little bit who had been left in the hot car whilst they were inside playing games. I feel bad for a little bit because she sat outside in a hot car while we were having fun. But I did, what? we were at, uh, getting something to eat, I did get a, a little bit some uh, ice water. Oh, so back I thought about it, at least. Amy said I was going to get her some water. What a selfish, disgusting bunch you of people. Weird, these yeah. Poor, poor little dog. I'm surprised a little bit is still alive. These events did a pretty good job of destroying the Slayton sister's reputation. However, as you might assume, it was only going to get worse from there on out as Amy would find herself in yet another controversy after going on a date with a 19 year old autistic kid at a local what McDonald's. The fuck? Know that That's not some South Park type of shit. What the fight. fuck was that? And it was a horrible night. It started off good. We met each other. Well, it wasn't the first time we met. Don't think that. I'm not that type of person. As mentioned, in the beginning, the date seemed to have been going well, to the extent that Amy and her date decided to book a hotel. They so went they to a hotel. A together, at which point, things would start to head in a negative direction. And then we went to a hotel. If that nigga hit this, man, it'd be hit fucking. Hotel. I finally got up and started loving on him. I was trying to give him a hickey because he was a bird. I mean, I've never had a hickey before. So I was giving him. She gonna suck that nigga like a black hole, bitch. He was like. Quit 
biting me and I'm like, I'm not biting you. And he was like, yeah, you are. So I bit him. After biting her date and assumably scaring him off during the intimate moment, he would weird, take to bro. Facebook, posting a status written in an ancient hillbilly dialect, which will receive a response from Amy about the size That'd of his hillbilly. penis. Following this, Amy uh -oh. would go on to upload her video discussing the night, where she would completely dox- I'd be like, yeah, my shit's small, but big. look at you! You big as hell! guy in the comment section with his Facebook page and telephone number, after which he'll be harassed by Amy's YouTube audience. In somewhat of a hilarious act of- Look at this nigga, B. They probably related. Karma. Look at this shit. Amy would then go on to get into another relationship, which would ultimately end in separation. How about like Lester from GTA? That nigga fell off. Decided to get involved. I hope y'all guys are happy. David just broke up with me because everybody was harassed. Man, y'all see why I don't tell people who I'm updating? Because y'all bully and harass me. And then he don't. And while this would mark the end of Amy and Tammy's reputational base scandals, it would ironically mark the beginning of what would be many financial controversies, beginning when their audience uh -oh. discovered that the sisters have been receiving government assistance in a video titled Amy's Top You motherfuckers not welfare! And explain that as a result of being legally blind, she had been receiving social security payments. That'd be a legally I'm blind. I'm on disability for my weight. I'm on disability because of my eyesight. It would then be revealed later that Tammy was also receiving disability payments for her morbid obesity, which would result in backlash from her audience stating that they were rotting the system by receiving money from both the government and their job as YouTubers. In addition to receiving money from these two sources, they also began to make money from selling merch, before many would claim that this what was also fuck? a scam. The merch site was suspicious from the very beginning and read as follows. If you purchase Tammy's merch, you'll be added to a private group chat with Tammy. To purchase, head over to Bitch, the donate I don't want to be in a group chat! The appropriate no! Amount, $35 for t no! $50 for hoodies, then head to the, the contact fuck? section and email us with the email you used to what make What are we going to talk about? Food? The reason that the slate the, the, the new uh the, to donate the, the new burger they put on the menu at McDonald's. Obvious. They're definitely scamming the tax system and sliding money to Tammy so she can stay on disability from what it seems. I support a good side hustle, but this one is super shady. Yeah, what the hell kind of sketchy ass website is this? I just donate. That's my the money ADP four four five website. Return. No tracking or proof of purchase. Refunds. No thank you. This feels like a way to scam the IRS somehow. Damn. I didn't sell anything. People donated. It got worse when fans would come to realize that the sisters had been paying the artists who have completed the designs for the merch. A representative for Tammy would take to Instagram stating, all people who make artwork don't ask to get paid, but to simply get a follow or notice by Tammy. Most of the artwork on the website right now was designed by at blank, our website designer and at blank Damn. again. However, apparently this wasn't the arrangement made with the Bloody artists. Huge, big ass, mountain body, ass. big ass mountain body ass. Big ass Sasquatch Bigfoot body built there. They requested their art Damn. Be used without payment and have since been blocked and have had their artwork misattributed to someone else. This artist would take to Instagram in a post reading, I wasn't being unfair at all, just saying how my artwork is being passed off as someone else's when I spent time doing it, and I've now been blocked, yet my design is still up on your website, not really fair at all. All I wanted was credit for it, that's all. As a result Damn. of this scandal, Tammy's TikTok with over 1 million followers, on which she had promoted this bitch out a million followers. Ah, damn. This still doesn't make it the most notorious controversy in the Slayton sisters' history, bringing us to the infamous funeral scam. It began when Tammy, who was the heavier of the two sisters, Fell over in the bathroom before Big ass. the following God. day without the ability Damn. to breathe. Damn. I woke what up the fuck? and I couldn't breathe. Like that. Like I really couldn't breathe. And after being rushed to hospital, Bro. it discovered that Tammy had contracted that pneumonia. That head just. I went to the hospital <laughs> and the ambulance. And the virus went by and they told me I had pneumonia and I was going to have to stay in the hospital. Whilst in the hospital, Tammy's condition would worsen, leading her to pass out for three and a half weeks whilst on life support, during which Amy would begin the GoFundMe. Now, to Amy's credit, it probably was pretty scary having your overweight, unhealthy sister on life support for over three weeks. However, to begin planning for the funeral before she had even died, it was corny almost hell. comically pessimistic, which would become even funny when Amy stated that the money was to fund Tammy's triple size extra large coffin. Damn. Damn so Bitch, you gonna need a space shuttle. Bitch, put that bitch in a big ass Apollo space shuttle send her ass to space. Boy, ain't no, ain't way, no casket fitting in her. Bro, you gonna, you gonna need a, a big ass yacht to put that bitch, man. <laughs> it's Wait, like what? Her coffin is gonna cost them. <laughs> More because they have to triple the size of the coffin. Whilst mentioning that Tammy was on a medical card, Nigga, however, what? the amount of money it provided would not be enough to cover the funeral. Ain't no she big ass car. Medical card. The medical cards will not cover all of the bills. So this GoFundMe account will be for Tammy's funeral if she dies. So please 
Please find it in your heart to donate. The GoFundMe itself, which would raise a total of $818, read, this fund is for if anything was to happen to her, we'll go to her funeral. If she makes it through this, the money will stay there or go to her hospital bills that insurance won't pay. I won't ask, but I don't know what else to do. Please, please help us, even if it's sense. Thank you and may God bless you. Now, if Amy had approached- Boy, y'all going to hell. Of, We're just doing this to come These niggas going to hell, tell me some God bless that, you, there boy. There probably wouldn't have even been any backlash. However, since she had put so so much weight on the possibility of death. Right. People had donated, assuming that she was going to die. When she would return exactly, to the videos bro. a few weeks later, look at these big ass junk food as if nothing had ever happened. They finessed the, the fuck out y'all niggas. Donated weren't and niggas happy, fell for it. Judging from the 85% dislike ratio on the original "We Need Your Help" video, it also didn't um, help that in a different video, Amy would reiterate that the money wasn't going to be spent on anything besides the funeral. We won't be spending it on anything but the funeral. I just wanted to clarify that. Or I'm going to take it up to the funeral home where it can build interest. I probably will take it to the funeral home and let it build interest. So She's going to so take that shit to McDonald's. That's happen. where she's going. Yeah, that is... Uh McDonald's and so a Waffle House. That there was no funeral. What the new fuck question you talking about? Created. Where had the money gone? Amy would state that she had transferred the money to her mother to pay for Tammy's medical bills. Cow. The money that y'all donated for Tammy when she was in the hospital, I gave it to my mother. Cow. Who paid bills Cow. with Tammy's bills. Regardless if that's what she used the money for or not, that's what I did with it. I gave it to my mother who paid bills. However, when her audience would ask her to prove it, she'd state that it was her mother's responsibility to provide the receipts. My mom is trying to find the receipts, but if she can't find them, that's on mom, not me. Then in another video stating that the receipts Bro, back the fuck up. up God damn. You're like so close to the camera. Receipts away, but in my head I wasn't thinking, well, these receipts might come to bite me in the ass. You know, I wasn't thinking that. I'm a, it was a simple mistake. However, if the GoFundMe had been done online, then surely she was using internet banking. Why why couldn't she provide a screenshot of the bank transfer to her mother? Medical bill receipts don't seem like something that you just throw away. It was suspicious that she was unable to provide any evidence for the money going towards the hospital stay, especially when her audience would notice that she also happened to buy a new laptop oh, and a new camper right after the GoFundMe had concluded. What the hell? At a later date, Tammy would go on to state that Amy's GoFundMe made her angry as she felt as though she didn't need help. And when I found out, yo, big man, I've been busy capping. Amy did the capping like a motherfucker. GoFundMe thing. Believe me, I was mad. No, you wasn't. Because from one, I knew I wasn't going to die. And two, I didn't want help. I, not the person, want to ask for help. The most interesting part about the whole ordeal is that while most of the motherfuckers crazy. fade into obscurity as the years go by, uh, 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 their public image what into the a fuck? TLC show titled 1000 Pound Sisters, on which Amy has since lost over 100 pounds, right. has gotten married, had a baby, and is looking healthy compared to her early days on YouTube. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Tammy, whose continual weight gain is much of oh the my show's God, entertainment what the factor. Fuck? The show just had its third season. That'd be big as well, shit. One million viewers per episode. Right. Hey man, listen, bro. Bro, these. <laughs> Alright. Hey, these motherfuckers crazy, bro. They, like, I don't. Why would you do that to people that support you? Like, I, I, I don't understand that shit, bro. Like, there are so many creators, like YouTubers and stuff. Like, they get popular and they like garnish like a fan base and people start watching them and supporting them and stuff. It's like the numbers get to them, like it gets like in their head, and it's like, bro, like they just like what? <laughs> the money, everything gets to them, bro, and it's like they just be like, hey man, fuck it, I'm going all out. It's like EDP, EDP let he let he was like, hey, listen, I'm at a point to where I don't give a fuck. I I got all I want, I got everything I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go ahead and just crash out and just do stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? And look at him now. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be so grimy. Like, it's human nature, though. Like, people just be so weird and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, bro. Like, that nigga pretty well Fredo. Like, oh my. Bro, that nigga Fredo. Like, if you black and you like a young nigga and you like what used to watch Pretty Well Fredo, bro, we all used to want to be a part of SSH. Like, God damn. Bro, we used to see them niggas. And it's like, oh my god, bro. Like, it's just looking at that nigga now and hurt here, like, the stories about him and, you know what I'm saying, SSH members coming out and just telling the truth about this nigga and just saying what the fuck he been on and what he be doing and shit. Like, it, it's crazy, bro. Like, that nigga, he be faking everything. Like, he let the money, the fame, the clout, all that stuff get to him, bro.
he let all that stuff get to him. This shit crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why some people just don't deserve to be in positions like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers just let that stuff get to them. Like, they really do. Like, they just do whatever they, they can do if it benefits them. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I love y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the episode, bro.